We'll do the last round table, maybe for, as we were a little bit over time, we'll, we'll maybe keep it a bit shorter. Do you guys want to join? Jakub? So uh, the opening um, question, I think it's a, so in the, in the previous sessions there was a little bit of debate about this kind of uh, killing of like father figures and kind of this, like starting to distinguish with um, previous generations. Uh, is that something that is important for you? And if yes, like which kind of father or mother figure are you trying to kind of kill off? And if it's not important, like why would that, like what's the kind of, um, uh, yeah, so, uh, I mean, in my world, I sort of uh, kind of perceive that as, as, as a kind of continuous evolution. So, so I do feel that, I mean, what I believe in is sort of more of a practical experimentation rather than kind of radically trying to sort of change the construction industry. So I think what, what the way I move forward, it's more from kind of partial innovation, I would say. So, uh, yeah, so I'm actually not very sort of obsessed by that question, or like it never really came to my mind. But, I mean, the, 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 the question is not about the industry, it's about the, uh, the actual figure, like the father figure. In your case, probably a mother and father <laughs> figure. <laughs> yeah, I think that, uh, Obviously, that always comes with the, with the fact that when, yeah, when, when, when you operate in a practice for a long time and then you're trying to design yourself, then, I mean, obviously, you kind of go through a, a whole process of kind of reinventing uh, your repertoire. But I think in, 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 in my way, I, I, I don't know whether, like, obviously, like, you, you, you try to sort of create something that it's more personal towards mm. yourself. But I don't know whether it's uh, killing a mother figure or whether it's more kind of, be, you know, using, it's being selective about the principles that, that you, mm. you, you think that you can put forward and just kind of forgetting about these principles that, that you strongly disagree. Yeah, I think it's for us, is we don't really have a father figure that we need to kill off in that regards, uh, or that we want to kill off. It's more about maybe looking at father figures in other industries, um, or also maybe coming from a background where we both studied industrial design and transportation design originally, where you more had some unrelated father figures that then made its way into your uh, later architectural education and work. So um, not so much the killing, but more the the alternating. <laughs> like, like you are more adopting new fathers. <laughs> you, you, you are like adopting more fathers. <laughs> Having more, not killing them. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know if it's also like the, like if we have to kill somebody, um, it's uh, just more about um, the thing is, um, I think we're just working on other topics than maybe the generations before us. For example, like I think we should work on topics like climate change and stuff like this. Um, furthermore, than having just like an ego that we want to uh, be better than uh, the past uh, architects before us or something like this, because we all stand on their shoulders, I mm -hmm. think. Without them, we couldn't look so far. Um, and um, there are certain things that were done very right and certain things that were done wrong and we're just more about to um, analyze what they done right and build up on that, I think. Uh, I also agree uh, completely. I think we are uh, just different generation living in a different era of time and just different questions and problems that is for us uh, and for them was a different problems. Uh, yeah, so I think, um, like, for example, if there was no offices like Zaha, uh, there was no, like, this push or, and innovation in this, like, uh, a construction industry, yeah. I think, like, I think there were different problems and different um, needs in, 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 at that time of the year, and then nowadays we learned 
from their learning, and I think, um, yeah, I don't want to kill anybody. I mean, I, I think it's only natural in a way, right? Especially all of us kind of more or less coming from the same background, maybe except Marvin. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's like it would be kind of a shame just that if, let's say, everyone who, I don't know, leaves Zaha or comes from Angivante or DRL just continues one-to-one -one doing what they've been taught, right? I think that would be kind of a completely missed opportunity and wasted experience, right? So for me, that's only kind of natural. So. Not really. Oh, so so you want to kill fathers because the other ones don't want to kill. Like <laughs> like you are more nasty. You want. To... Uh, maybe I already killed one. I mean, you know, it's also <laughs> kind of like, like you know, where where do you where do you see that influence coming from in different stages of your career, right? Kind of like, for example, me coming from from Serbia in a very different school to mm. DRL. For example, that's already kind of. Uh, one assassination. Right? <laughs> so, and then, you know, like, I think every stage of your career has a mini assassination attempt, right? So, I think it's only natural. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. But it's also, you know, not like a bad thing, you know? Like, I would love to be, like, killed by some brilliant student in, like, five years, yeah. ten years. No, I mean, it's, um, like, the, 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 fa the father figure thing is, like, it's almost, uh, it, I think it was Rem who said it's, like, you know, you need to kill your father before you're 33. Like, he has this kind of, like, date on it that you need to, like, you only kind of become independent as an architect the moment you are able to kind of, like, you know, kill, kill someone off, which, which doesn't mean that you don't respect your father, obviously, right? I mean, it, it doesn't actually, or that you don't use their, their knowledge as well. Um, but it's, it's interesting because, in a way, like, also the, um, like, in the, this morning in some of the sessions, there were a lot of, like, conditions that were leading to the killing of the fathers, right? So there was like debate about like societal changes that we're facing that were not there a number of years ago. Because I mean, I would agree that if, you know, if nothing really changes in society or the environment where you grew up to, it's just an egotistical act to kill your father, right? But the moment that there is actually a kind of, you know, in a way, maybe a lot of pressure from the environment that puts into question how you have been raised. Like, for example, I mean, in my case, it was clear that everything I was taught at the DRL, I was like, this does not apply. <laughs> like, there is none of these, like, paradigms have any answers to the world outside us after, like, it, I, I felt like I was studying in the past. I was, like, studying ideology that was relevant when we were preparing to build uh, three Dubais per year, right? But like after the crisis, like you could argue there is kind of societal kind of shifts that are happening that are maybe pushing you to, to question those kind of paradigms. Like, like is, that, is, that, is that sort of like maybe the kind of the, the role of like, um, the role of kind of like a yeah, for, form of critique towards the, the buzzwords that we have been grown up with, right? Like uh, adaptability, complexity. Uh, like all of those buzzwords, like the, 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 the kind of the question, like why do we, why, why, why are those words important, right? Or like what is the kind of the, the vision that you kind of get in your drinking water? Like, um, is that so? Is, do you want to comment a bit on that? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I don't know whether. Uh, Actually, the, to be honest, whether I, 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 I've seen much evidence of, uh, of actually kind of addressing the, the shift that, that, that you described, you know, because also I think the parallel of the 99% and the 1% and then kind of, you know, flashing sort of on the screen what we do, mm -hmm. it's actually not the response that, because then anyway, like it's, 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 uh, it's a different expression, but it falls into 1%. So, so I think that uh, I, I do think that, that there is attempts, and I think that maybe with with, with time they're, they're becoming much more genuine, which I do appreciate, and 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 I think we should continue the journey. But I think as it stands now, I I, I don't see a kind of a strong evidence of, of our generation kind of yet addressing such issues. Maybe there really needs to be kind of certain urgency put forward, and uh, and then maybe a little bit of panic and kind of taking that seriously. Mm -hmm. but or, or, or the research that we're doing that needs to mature to actually be able to kind of address the 99%. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. So. <laughs>
you, you don't have to add. <laughs> <laughs> he has a mic. And I, I have another question, otherwise, if you don't. Want to. Well, I mean, <clears throat> just to maybe kind of pick up on that, it's you know, it's also a question like you know, if if you look at what we we were taught at DRL, right, and the stuff maybe that we are doing today, it's you're still questioning is is this something that can be done today, right? Like, are the technologies that we are proposing there is you know still up to a certain point maybe. Um, out there, but the problems are today, right? So how do you actually bring those two together? And you know, is it then our fault as well? Are we complicit in that that we are kind of you know falling in love in in all those processes and and ideas? Yeah. Uh, Which also but, leads uh, to but you're not you're not ready to kind of give up on them yeah, yeah. if if solving the problem today would need that. Know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Can I? Can I write? And that actually, like, uh, what, what I think, like, to, to pick up a bit on that, like, what I also think is interesting that it's true that all, like, in this panel, most of you actually have the kind of extensive work experience, right? Whereas actually, a lot of the people in the panel in the morning, including myself, actually have only kind of spent brief periods in practice and then kind of started, like, <laughs> you know. Um, like we were also in a way a bit isolated of, uh, of of practice, right? And so, like one thing also that kind of um, I think is important now that all of you are starting your own practices um, with that experience of like seven to ten years being in the big office. Like, I like I think most of you are actually starting to define different forms of practice that you see doing or are looking for it, right? Like I think Jakob is kind of going for the the kind of more classic maybe architectural practice model. Bart Brodk is kind of going for a lot of models, kind of with like consultancy and kind of um, in, like interdisciplinary uh, kind of topics that you want to achieve. And then Igor and Sumin, I, I think, are also kind of like defining your own mode of practice, right? So can you maybe like just talk a bit about like the mode of practice itself or where you would like to see this going or how do you kind of reflect in a way after having been in a practice for so long or you reflect basically on this kind of the model that you want to operate with as an architect in the, in the future. Uh, you want to start? Oh. No, no, that's fine. Um, I mean, I think we see it in our case because we come from having worked a lot in practice in offices that we, we definitely also, I mean, maybe this was not the most representative selection of things that we are doing and want to do um, as a practical office and you definitely have a practical approach to our um, when it comes to commercial work, um, it's probably a bit of a balance of um, trying to grow in commercial commercial work, um, which allows you a platform um, of, I think, of testing technologies so or testing things in an academic background and environment, and then maybe taking taking parts or elements. I mean, some of our work was also installation work or work for galleries um, that then probably it influences the commercial work. But I think we. Yeah, maybe we do see our pros in between. Um, still slow. I, I think we often use, uh, in maybe sometimes also in lectures, we use the term of uh, we would like to be an incubator for good ideas. So we don't want to be architects or designers or um, any other profession in general because in the end of the day it does not matter so much for us how you call it. Um, it is more about um, the project and how it can refine um, a certain problem and give an answer to a certain problem. So, um, yeah, just adding that. Yeah, I think to, to, to add on that, I think uh, I want to be an architect. So <laughs> I think in, in, a, in a kind of the traditional sense as it is defined. So I, 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 it's true, I, I, I'd like to sort of actually interact with the, with the kind of, with the real briefs, with the majority of the briefs that you can get on the spectrum of the market. And, and because I, I think in the, in the current cities, like you see, there's so many missed opportunities. Mm -hmm. and, and I think they have something to do with uh, the kind of level of the architecture production. <laughs> that I think it's, it's not to the level that we would like to have that. So, so I think that kind of my first step, just, just go 
for, for, for that type of jobs and, and, and I don't mind if it's commercial and you know I don't mind the size I actually quite do enjoy that so and obviously through that process like you kind of de define I mean you, you start with interest at, at least in in in, in uh, in my case, and then I, you, you sort of define your agenda through the kind of materialization of the interest, and, and, and I'm not rushing that in, in terms of kind of, you, you know, writing a manifesto in that way. Yeah. You're expecting me to answer? Um, I mean, I kind of agree with Jakub on certain points, like, uh, at least it's, this is kind of very personal for me. I at least feel it's kind of too early to really frame it, how I see it, how, you know, the office, the collaborative, the whatever would work, right? But, you know, I believe that there has to be some kind of a bit different model than, than it was until now. Kind of, let's say the starting point is just don't do it like the previous generation, yeah? Not saying any names, but I think you would understand. <laughs> um, but you know, it's kind of I, I think just kind of um, maybe trying to bring research a bit more into um, you know, the everyday practice, not keeping it so disconnected, which is in general what I think that our generation is trying to do, mm. right? So. So I think I I have a very specific thought about this because I um, in. There are so many uh, talented people right now, and then the, uh, the model of the companies are becoming smaller and smaller. And uh, everybody has now opportunity to uh, promote their names, and they can, like, for example, they can open up a web website or make a YouTube channel. Uh, like, things will become more and more personal and freelance-based and mobile kind of based, I think, in the future. There will be less and less opportunity for like these kind of small offices to be able to grasp a big projects uh, like like big companies. I think we really, as an architect, uh, we really need to find a, a kind of a different modes of collaboration with different talents. Uh, I think this will not. Uh, I really think this has to has some changes in the ways of. A star architect uh, are considered. I think every everybody will be considered as stars, and there will be no zaha in the future. There will be like thousands of zahas everywhere. <laughs> I think uh, it's a really missed opportunity to have all these talented people just separated out, just doing small projects. I think there has to be a ways of collaborating with people and. Um, I know some people like Casey, like really criticizing me with collaborating with other people, uh, but I think it's it's a, it's 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 really important to have really uh, a ways of like really thinking about collaboration in a different way. Um, yeah, and also I, I really think what Jose is like really criticizing about credits nowadays. I think it's also really a good point. Uh, yeah, this all comes down to a future big project, how, it, how these kinds of things will operate. Mm -hmm. And I don't have an, any answer on that. Mm. Um, maybe one last question before we open it up, maybe to the, to the questions of the audience, it's probably very tired. Um, so some of, um, like most of you have actually kind of go a little bit back and forth or have experience in a way with both kind of using discrete systems and like uh, continuous systems. Like for example, Igor, you've done two installations with kind of modular parts and now you're working with the total opposite of modularity. Or like Jakob has been teaching my students at some point, uh, like our students with uh, kind of looking into those systems and then, you know, obviously a lot of experience, he's a, like a, co a continuity master and you guys as well kind of balance b between those two fields. So you kind of, I think, as a panel also like uniquely situated to maybe talk a little bit about where you see benefits in what or what your experience is in like shifting between those things, like as a kind of, um, maybe kind of a nice roundup as well in, in this discussion. Yeah, I, uh, yeah I've, I've been uh, sort of thinking about, about discrete systems, you know, a lot, and but more sort of from the perspective of the constructability. Of, of uh, 
also of uh, all the building systems, etc. You know, I, I I do think that the I think it needs to sort of leave the kind of conceptual framework, and it needs to sort of start materializing. And I think that my view on that is I think it's it's it's, it's that it that the system will need to differentiate itself and to kind of react to the local condition of, 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 of taking building as a system, you know, and there I think it's uh, sort of it needs to kind of adjust the conceptual framework and then I think it will deliver. And then once it starts delivering, I think we can really sort of judge the evidence of, of what, what, what the premises are, you know, which is, which is the 99%. That, that we discussed, but at the moment, because maybe it's, it's, it's slightly too stylistic or the conceptual framework is maybe too uh, tight in a way that, that people sort of don't kind of maybe critically assess that enough in terms of constructability, that's, that's, that's my point of view, and in terms of some of the kind of construction logics that, that how they operate, I think they need to be taken much more seriously. There's, you know, thousands of years of a, of a development of architecture and then things are there for a reason. So I think they need to be addressed and I think at that moment I, I do believe that uh, that's the, the, the discrete agenda starts delivering. For, and I, I mean, you know that I always kind of... Uh, offer my collaboration on that because I, I think that's, that's something that I, that I do enjoy and I think that's something also that maybe continuous systems where, uh, where having certain kind of greater freedom of addressing that because then in a way there were kind of in, in terms of the construction process there were kind of more continuous with the, with the way that uh, architecture developed over the years. So I think that's that's where uh, the discrete could land and and could actually address uh, such issues to 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 deliver. Yeah, I, I just wanted to say I mean I don't see it either or as a kind of question of either or. It's more like where and when, in a way, right? So you know, for example, just even to address what you mentioned, like for example with the pavilion, right? Um, the first prototype that we did was actually kind of discrete same lengths of mm. timber pieces, but actually you can't even bend it and um, twist in the profiles that we wanted unless it's literally nine meter long strip, right? So it's kind of everything comes with the material system and what you intend to do with it. Yeah, I would, sorry. <laughs> I would completely agree with um, the topics of uh, practicality and project-based practicality and I think if there's one then father I would kill this having to choose a manifesto maybe that's also the reason why you rightfully said that we did not have what you uh, a dogma 2019 or anything um, because yeah I think it, in the end for us it's a project-based choose but there's a, a, a strong acknowledgement of the um, intellectual and practical potential of but um, it comes down to a um, not choosing as one or the other. Good. No, we... <laughs> so Such an easy <laughs> <day around. laughs> No one is being nasty, guys. Does, does anyone have a nasty question so we can get out of here? Someone? Casey, do you have a nasty question? No? Nasty question? Yeah. We have a nasty You're friendly today? Okay. All right. Um, then uh, I think, Martin, do you want to round it up? Shall we release him back? We leave today? Okay. Uh, I just wanted to thank to the participants of the symposium. Many, many thanks. Very inspirative and powerful talks. We also have a recordings we will put to the <laughs> internet online for those who didn't make it to the symposium can then have a look online and uh, yeah, join these kind of great talks. However, uh, tomorrow there is a workshop from morning starts like 12, 10, Manu. 8.30, eh? 8.30, no? Yeah. <laughs> so, and it's running until Sunday, so you are welcome to join. And yeah, again, thank you for coming and let's go for a beer. Yes. Cool. Thank you. <laughs>